So is there a different approach now that you've been in there? It's like, wait a second, you know, maybe I didn't approach that guy the right way yeah. or this situation. The right well, way. The de I'll give you, for instance, who's an all-star now, Sauter. I'm not sure if I'm supposed yep. to say it. It's been, it's been yeah, you're good. Okay. You're good. Okay. It's out there. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to say something when I shouldn't say it. <laughs> Bad timing. But I screwed up with Sada. When I came here, I screwed up with him, and I think I held him back in where he wasn't killing penalties. I, you know what he is as a player, two-time Stanley Cup winner. But I still think he had a lot. I still think he has a lot to learn about the game, and I lost him. Uh, when, when he, we, he spends two minutes on the bench and he doesn't kill a penalty and I don't come back with him maybe another shift after that because I'm trying to get my lines back together. There he is sitting on the bench for probably three minutes. It may not seem like a lot, but for a pet player, that's eternity. You know yeah. it. And I didn't have a good understanding of how much of a flow he needed in his game. And it took me a couple of weeks to really see that I hurt him. And now I've got him in more of a flow. And I'm not taking credit for his, how well he's played, but I know it's helped him that he's on the ice more and, and he hasn't missed three shifts in a row. That really affected him. And you know his game is, a, is his legs. He's such a good skater. Yeah. 